What is going on guys? I'm Adam. Today we're playing Stories Untold Chapter 2. It's been a while since I played Chapter 1, but we are on the lab conduct. Let's go ahead and get started. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have Artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from Crash Site B. At the moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. I'm your man! Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so Always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash. Okay. You to trigger the experiment. Got it. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You Got it. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Whew! All right, that's a lot of pressure to start off with. So, experiment one, internal analysis, subject J1986MEM, enclosed in solid outer layers. Extract the artifact to determine its internal structure. Ooh, okay, E, M to manual, equipment layout. All right, so we got the camera, test chamber, got the drill to the left, CC86 to right, monitors, sync master, to the right, we have a TV unit, signal generator, amp, and we have LZR2 laser. H for help, tab to move over to the test chamber. Okay, okay, there we go. I'll send the wrong button. So this one. We got the CCA6 going, it's green. And, okay, so the artifact is a heart. Okay, so that's, this is the amp, camera, IR, XR. So we got it to X ray. Awaiting X ray data. Whoo! You gonna, you gonna show up? Show up? Oh, here's a green button. Let's look at that. Ooh. Okay, good work. The X ray is coming through now. There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material, and no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. I can't see. I don't know what it is. Let's begin. Okay. Experiment complete. Press enter to receive a new experiment task. Demonstrate the effects of the laser light on the object. Try using with a low powered red laser to begin with. So demonstrate the effects of the laser in a low powered red laser. Tab, switch over. Okay, got the laser on. We're good, we're good. One, two. Okay, so let's come over here. Manual, laser, two, laser. Start the red, 650. Okay, type, and 650. All right, got that 650. So we got that 650 in. Set monitor to RGB, okay. We should probably read more. There we go. Sync master. There we go. What's going on? No reaction from first page. Let's try high frequency. All right, no reaction. Okay. Okay. Still doing the laser effects. Increase the laser energy. Use the green laser. Go to number two. Green laser is 510. Switch to RGB. 510. And commence laser. Nothing. Is, it gonna, is this going to be it? Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here. A weak signal. Of course. Let's keep going. Increase again. Increase. It's getting pretty serious. Let's go. Oh, no, no, go back. Ah, uh, go back. It's getting pretty serious, guys. So, increase the laser energy farther. Use that blue laser. Blue laser is 455. 
four fifty five. I feel like a legit scientist just like you know, just like going back to my computer, looking through the data, coming over here, swinging, swinging my table around, swinging my chair around actually. Ooh, that's no party. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Oh, we got the heart to beat. No activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Yo, guys, we got the heart to beat again. We're pretty much doctors at this point. Begin with generating a 250 hertz swine wave with amplifier set to one. All right, under acoustic swine. So it's, uh, it's a curvy one. Turn this on. All right, let's turn up to 250. Come on, go up. Uh, come on. There we go. Almost there. 255. Whoa, 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 slow back. We don't want to bust the heart. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Sign. There we go. So this is that one. This is actually 250. There we go. Oh. There we go. 250. There we go. I got that. So it's not it's not blinking green. Come on, man. What's going on? There okay, I had to turn that off. There we go. What are you gonna do? It's not much of a response. Updating the experiment now. Not much of a response, guys. We're almost there. We're gonna do this. We're doctors already. We're doctors. We got this. Increase the frequency to 500 hertz. Swine wave and a an amplifier gain of five. Okay. So it's already on the waveform that we need. Yeah, I like that sound. There we go. Fun fact. You know the people that drive the ambulances. That's what I used to do. I used to pick up doctors from the hospitals if uh, I wasn't doing emergency calls. I would drive donated body parts such as lungs, hearts, to the nearest hospital and we'd go lights and sirens. So we're trying to get there as fast as we can so they don't perish. And I don't know, just doing this kind of reminds me of going to the airports, picking up the doctors from a different state, taking them back to the hospital for the patient. Gain to five. Whoo. All right, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, is that, okay, is it gonna bust? Seeing that it's like, gonna bust. situations and activity should be increased. Do the risk of damage. Okay. What about uh, the volunteer? Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Ah. Uh. I guess if you want to go, man, we gotta we gotta push it. Switch to the square wave, maintaining current at 500 and gain to five. So we just gotta switch the wave on this one. So here's this one. There we go. Whew. You got a heart. Oh, oh, the power's gonna go out. Maybe not. We're seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in the Good, good. Oh, well, doctor. This might seem we know this. Uncomfortable. Dangerous, but you need to trust us and keep going. We're going, we're going, we're going, guys. Maintain the gain at five and the square form. Bring the waveform uh, frequency up to 1k hertz. Bring it up to 1k hertz. Whew, we're really pushing it. There we go. Oh, it's just gonna explode all over the monitor. It's gonna be exploded inside the test chamber. We ain't gonna have no more heart, guys. There we go. Come on, we got it. Can you guys hear the heart? Heart's making me nervous. I hear a parent in the background. There we go, there we go. Come on, deep down. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, uh, oh, nope, oh, there we go. Ooh. There we go. Oh, you gonna go? Yep, told you guys, I knew it. Cause I'm a doctor. Full activity registry. Failed. We did it. Can hear I could have done that on my first try. Progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate 
some dis discomfort. We did great. I could, I could have done that without him asking me. All right. The protective case is off. Proceed to drill the surface. Switch the drill on and install the other equipment, except the camera and TV are switched off. When ready, trigger Sync Master as normal and begin drill insertion. Okay, get that off. Get the amp off. Got that off. Turn the drill on. There we go. I don't know why we're doing this though. Ooh, ooh, what? How do you feel? Don't be scared. Uh, yeah, the situation under control. I don't know how we turned that a heart into that. We'll continue. So we turned a heart into the Iron Man heart. I don't know how we did the with doctors, guys. I'm just trying to throw you guys off a little bit, you know, because you guys are still new, you know? You're gonna have patients that make up lies, you know? I want y'all to see past that. Make the contact with the artifact. Open the chamber. Safety instructions. Extremely dangerous to handle anything within the container. I didn't even update my next akin. We won't tell him that though. We won't, cause we don't need we don't need a write up right now, you know. So uh, we got our safety goggles. We got our gloves. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and open the experiment chamber. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. You're doing fine. Don't be afraid. I'm not. I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. We can do it. It's time to remember. All right, let's remember. What are we doing? Oh, shoo! Woo! Fancy now. It's like a conscious black box. It can show you its memories. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand, that you can play out. New data connection ready. So hold on over here. Oh, click. Okay. There we go. Live with some memories. Okay. Why was that so bad? Temporal interference conversion. Remarkable. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Count on me, boss. You wake up in the cryopod. Struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. In fact, into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Poisonous atmospheric spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Leave. Does not recognize. Okay. Use computer. You tap at the screen and the airlock door splutters to life. Slowly opening with a horrendous noise, the ship powers down to silence. Having spent the last of its reserves. Leave. Open. Door. This we did it. Morgan was taken from what we think was the leader. Oh. These memories are different. They're not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else is high. Do it. That is dope. We took that guy's organ. Now we're retrieving his memories. This is pretty awesome. Let's see what else he has for us. Okay, see a guy? We see a guy? We saw a guy. An unknown guy. Squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees onto the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings you pain to your chest. You look around to see 
we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. I'm trying to stop interrupting me. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Fight lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Move metal? Lift metal? Every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. So look around. Look around. A circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. That was the guy. Let's see who he is. Creep. Silhouette. Am I spelling silhouette? Yeah, I'm spelling it right. Yes. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. Okay, okay. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. You should be proud of yourself. He must not be a good guy, whoever the silhouette was, to make this guy's heart beat faster. All right, let's look in. Look into the orb of truth. Here we go. Dr. Daniel something. We awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. The touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Ooh, are they talking about right now? Like, are we one? Like, now does he know that he's in our body? Move around. All right, look around. This doesn't happen. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Hmm. Whose memories are these? Ooh. When did this happen? So we don't even have the right guy right now. We are in a bed in a small artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a displayed monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. Ow! I don't know, look around, like usual. Okay, so it just gives us the same thing. Oh, um, there's some writing. Read the writing. Read the writing. Symbols seem to indicate where on our body they have cut. We have been butchered and mended over and over. Whew, that is brutal. Jason to the monitor with the wires draped across the room into our chest. Move. Wires. Okay, whoo. That did something. What just happened? What's that alarm? Oh, they're here in the Dude, building. Get into the quarantine lab to see. We'll find out what's going on. I think we're controlling another person in a different room right now. We ain't get the wires protruding from our chest. Together, we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm, echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Leave room. Doctor, specimen 20 has left lab 15. It's on the move. Oh God, that vision. It's not a memory, it's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. I mean, alright, as long as I get paid, I am good, guys. Oh, let's look, look into the orb. Let's see if we can see what he's seeing right now. Ooh. Car wreck? And somebody in a body bag. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room the device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this, but this house does. Ooh, they're talking about us, so they know what we know. The door closes behind us and a lock clamp shuts. We are alone together. There's a device on the table. Use device. What is that? I don't know. What is it? the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our system. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. 
we have to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. So is that telling us what we need? Okay. Oh! I don't know what we did. We did something. We got it right, we got it right. What? What? Oh, those are all the organs of them. Teaming up against us. Yo, I'm just doing my job. I'm a doctor, okay? I got money. I can, you know, we can work something out. Yep, can we get closer? Okay. I knew that would work. Yeah, we did it. It always comes in handy when you say I'm a doctor. I told him I was a doctor, I got money, I'm just doing my job. See, they turned around and they was like, no sweat bro, we'll get your money later. It always works out. So that is the lesson we learned from this video. And that is it guys, that is chapter two of Stories Untold. Now it was pretty good, it was interesting. I felt like I was legit doing some research, switching from the computer then to the monitor, switching back and forth in my chair. You know, anytime you have a chair, it just feels a little bit more professional. Am I right? Episode one is still my favorite because it was a little bit more creepy and you're in a haunted house, but this one was still good. I'm just prefer the paranormal type of stuff. Next week, I'm thinking about doing that new Five Nights at Freddy's new hire VR. Let me know what you guys think. And also I've been thinking, let me know what you guys think about if I switch my time from Wednesdays, 12 p.m. Eastern time to Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern time. And that is it guys. I'll see y'all maybe next Wednesday or next Friday. If I, depends how much feedback I get. So I might see y'all next Wednesday or next Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern time. Peace.